Hey everybody, I'm Sean Powers, and today I'm going to take a little bit of a detour from our Linux Plus course. And I know yesterday was another detour, so maybe this is now a rabbit hole. But anyway, I, I want to talk about uh, my web server. Now I use Caddy, and I'm thinking about making a pretty detailed playlist talking about all the aspects of Caddy. If you would like to know more about the web server Caddy, which is a very fast, efficient web server that does reverse proxying and everything incredibly powerfully, let me know if that's something you're interested in. I can make some more videos about that, but specifically today, I want to talk about PHP because I had a doozy of a problem today and I thought I fixed it and I had to do a little bit more tweaking. So we're going to cover that. But first of all, I want to thank all of the people here, uh, my Patreon supporters. Uh, there's like 17 Patreon supporters now. It's amazing. It makes this possible for me to do. Um, and I hope to have more interesting things, including the Linux Plus course, but uh, lots more stuff, including other creative activities. Some of you are supporting me for things outside of Linux and I appreciate that. So thank you again to my Patreon supporters. You're making this possible and I couldn't do it without you, especially weeks like this, which whew, what a week. Anyway, let's look at uh, my server and I'll explain what happened. So I'm logged into my caddy server. This is my web server. I host a bunch of different websites on it and I'll give you just a short background. So it was hanging like throughout the day, it would like go offline. Like none of my websites would respond. And I actually thought it was because I was hosting my SQL on a separate server. I thought maybe it was like a network connection issue where there were timeouts going on and, and I didn't dive too deeply into it. What I did is I just moved it to my SQL server, actually Maria DB server on the same host. I figured, you know, local host, local host, I would get rid of that problem. And it kept happening. So I'm like, all right, I got to dive in deeper. And this is what I ended up finding out. I looked through all of the logs and logging in caddy is something that I might make a video on because I have all that streamlined now too. But I noticed that uh, there were a lot of these errors and it was connection refused errors, which I thought was really weird. And then I noticed this that it's reaching port 9,000. And thankfully that stuck into my head because that is where I run PHP FPM. I run that on port 9,000 and that's how my caddy server actually communicates with PHP FPM because web servers don't actually handle PHP. They hand that off to another process. And in this case, it's uh, PHP FPM. And the problem was it wasn't uh, looking and accepting connections. So, okay, it wasn't the MySQL thing. It was clearly PHP related. So then I started looking in PHP logs, which is this one. And I saw, now this is actually what I see now, but what I noticed is that the default number of children processes, like the, the number of PHP processes that it can actually be working at once, the default is really low, it's five. So if it reaches five PHP processes that are working at one time, it won't respond. And what happens, um, actually, if you look back at this original log, it was feed burner. So it was when my sites were getting crawled uh, by, you know, automated sites, it, it launches a whole bunch of PHP processes because it's quickly going through all of the various things, you know, to uh, go into my site. And so the problem was uh, those things like Google crawler, feed burner, they were using up all the processes and it would just hang because there were no more processes available. So I'm like, oh crap. So I needed to figure out how to go in and add more. And what I ended up doing is just finding the configuration file and kind of guessing, which was, wasn't the best, but here's what I did. Uh, finding the file was a chore in and of itself, but I'll save you a little bit of time. Uh, it is in etc. PHP, uh, the number of your PHP, mine is PHP 8.1 and then FPM. And then there are, there's conf.d and pool.d. And I assumed it was going to be in the conf.d folder, but it's actually in the pool because, uh, it's arranged in pools. <laughs> Go figure. Uh, anyway, the, the main pool that it uses is www.conf. And so I edited this file. Uh, so let's just look at the file. And if you look for children here, I'm going to go up to the top here. This was uh, what I changed. It was uh, PM max children. It was set to five. It was clearly not enough. So I just jacked it up to 30, thought that would be plenty. And then I also upped the, like how many it starts and uh, you know, how many spare it should have, etc. I just kind of guessed at all these things and that's never a good idea. Uh, so Anyway, I did this, I restarted PHP and I thought all was well. And I was going to make a video talking about how brilliant I was to figure this out. And then when I came home, I discovered, yeah, it was still failing. So if we quit this and we look at that log file again, you'll see it reached the limit of 30. 
And so when I have multiple sites that are getting crawled by multiple crawling sites, apparently that's too much. Now, I didn't notice that the site was offline. However, clearly it was. And so I need to up this a bit more, but I need to be smarter about it this time because I just, I, you know, I, I have no idea. I was just guessing. So what I looked at is how much RAM I have on the system. So I have, uh, there's 12 gigs of RAM here on the system right now. And I need to know how much RAM each PHP process actually uses. And <laughs> it gets complicated pretty quick because they don't always use the same amount of RAM. So I needed to figure out exactly how much RAM they would keep in physical RAM at one time. Anyway, I did a bit of Googling and PS is a great way to, or yeah, PS. So I used PS and just uh, dash C and then the name of the process. And I'll show you how I found the name of the process. If you just do top, you can see the name of the process. Uh, I have to stretch this a little bit. The name of the process is PHP FPM 8.1. There's a bunch of ways to find out how much RAM it's actually using, uh, but I decided to use PS. So PS dash C PH P FPM FPM 8.1. And this, see, this will give me the list, but it doesn't give me the memory usage. So I need to do that same thing with the option of RSS. And that's all I want to see. And RSS actually stands for uh, God, resident size, resident set size or something like that. It's the, the amount of uh, RAM that each one of the processes uses in kilobytes. And so you can see these are my 30. Uh, this top one is the main process. It doesn't actually use that much RAM, but these are each individual process. So this is in kilobytes. So yeah, about 162 megabytes is the top one, 160, 357 megabytes. So each one I'm going to say uses about 160 megabytes. All right. And so if I have 30 of them, I can multiply it to figure out how much it's going to use. But it turns out somebody smarter than me made a tool and I'm going to put a link to this in the description, uh, but it's basically how you can figure out how much, how many child processes you should have based on your server size. And so, uh, this is the calculator. Now remember my total Ram is 12 gigabytes. So I'll put it up to there. Now I have my SQL running on here as well. So I'm going to reserve like maybe four gigs of Ram for that. That's specifically going to be for the MySQL server. Uh, I'm going to leave the default Ram buffer at 10% and then the process size is about 160. Okay, so about 160. And now if we scroll down, it will give us a nice little set of numbers that we can do. So uh, the max children that we should have, I put 30, it recommends 46. So I'm actually going to use these numbers and put it in my PHP file right now. So I'll VI this file. All right, so the max children it recommends is 46. How many servers to start? 11, uh, spare minimum servers, it's gonna be 11. And then max spare servers, it says 34. All right, and those are all the settings. So I'm going to hope that this does the job. And if this doesn't do it, if I still get those errors in my log where it like disconnects or my sites hang, I'll just have to put more RAM in this virtual machine that is my web server, okay? And But to make this happen, we have to do systemctl restart php so i've restarted that and now um it should just work we have upped that to the point where uh that's as much as my server can comfortably handle and if i still get errors or i still see my site hanging like i said i'm going to add more ram to my server now again if you are uh, excited about this sort of a stuff it was a long day for me to figure this out and it was very very frustrating like i said i moved my my sql database and i really didn't need to do that because that wasn't the problem at all uh, but if you want me to talk more about caddy servers um, i will do that it's something that i use almost strictly for all of my web serving needs because I really like how it works and uh, it works for reverse proxies also for serving stuff out. Anyway, uh, learn everything, do what you love, and most importantly, be kind. Thank you so much for watching and let me know if you want to see more. I'll see you next time.